Hi, in this video I'm gonna compare the AI oui. mesh system. I mean, oui. yeah, we are going to compare the AI mesh system with the one mesh system. I've already talked about them in details and even put them to the test in other videos. Link in the video description in case you are interested. But in this video, I'm gonna, I mean, we're going to compare them with each other and see which one is probably better. So let's begin. In order to set up either of these mesh systems, obviously I will need to use some hardware, basically two or more devices that are somehow connected to each other. For the AI mesh, those devices have to be ASUS, and for the one mesh, those devices have to be TP-Link. But it is not like every one of these ASUS devices support AI mesh, or every one of these TP-Link devices support one mesh. Right now, for example, AI mesh is available for these ASUS devices, and one mesh is available for these TP-Link devices. That means I can create an AI mesh system using two or more supported wireless routers. I can decide which one should be the main router and which one should be the node. I can also mix and match my router with the Lyra Trio for example, which is itself a mesh system. Or even I can add one or more supported repeaters as my AI mesh nodes. That situation is kind of different in one mesh. I can only use one of the supported TP-Link wireless routers in my one mesh network, and only as the main router, not as a node. The node or nodes could be one or more of the supported TP-Link repeaters or power line adapters. I actually prefer the AI mesh approach here because let's say for example I have an ASUS wireless router right um, after some time I decide that I want to upgrade it and buy a new one uh, this way not only can I use the new one individually and maybe sell the old one on eBay or maybe give it to someone else but I can also use both of them at the same time to create a whole home AI mesh system it is really good because it's like an extra feature that is available here and it is something that is not available there. I see where you're coming from and I respect that, but I actually look at it in a different way. Just imagine I have a TP-Link wireless router, right? And I decide that I need to extend the range of my Wi-Fi. I do a little bit of research and I come to know that if I buy one of those supported TP-Link repeaters, not only can I simply use it as a repeater to extend the range of my Wi-Fi, but I can also use it to set up my own whole home one mesh network. Besides, this option is more likely going to cost me less than that. Now let's focus on speed which is something very important. AI mesh as we already said could be made of two ASUS wireless routers. If these two routers are very high end and very fast then our AI mesh network is going to be very fast too. For example just imagine two of these ASUS Rogue Rapture GTAX 11000s joining together to form a mesh network. This at least on paper is going to be a very fast mesh network. That is unfortunately something that is not possible in one mesh because right now at the time of making this video, the fastest repeater that I can use in my one mesh network is this RE505X, which is very slower than the AI mesh node I used in the previous example. That RE505X repeater, which is the fastest one mesh node that I can have today, is even slower than my six year old ASUS AC68U wireless router, which I can use it as my AI mesh node. That's actually true. A one mesh, at least with the hardware that is available for it today, is not gonna be able to provide speeds as fast as AI mesh. I'm not gonna argue that. However, for a lot of people who don't necessarily need super fast mesh networks, and maybe their priority is just to uh, create a simple, reliable, and inexpensive whole home Wi-Fi system so they can extend the range of their Wi-Fi, one mesh should still be a good choice. In both of the mesh systems, the clients can connect to the main router and also to the nodes using the 2.4 GHz radio, 5 GHz radio, or even an Ethernet cable. In the AI mesh system, because the nodes are probably wireless routers, there are more Ethernet ports available compared to the one mesh nodes, which are probably repeaters. 
Now, when it comes to the connection between the nodes in the AI mesh system, there are more options available because the backhaul could be the 2.4 GHz radio, 5 GHz radio, or even an Ethernet cable. The system would automatically decide which one is the best and would use that. In the one mesh system though, the backhaul could be only wireless and I cannot connect them with an Ethernet cable. In any mesh network, roaming is very important. If I'm on a VoIP call, for example, and I'm walking around the house, if my phone cannot switch seamlessly between the nodes, then I'm gonna have problems. Although it is the client's job, in this example, my phone, to decide which node it should connect to, the mesh systems usually have some methods to enhance that process for their clients. And I'm happy to say that based on my experience and also the tests I did previously on both of the systems, they are equally great in the roaming department. Another important thing is how stable the mesh systems are. And by that, I mean, do the nodes ever lose their connection to the main router and go offline? And if they do, are they able to come back online? That situation was not that good for AI mesh when it first came out. My node would go down for no obvious reason and would not come back online until I manually rebooted the node. This was not good but luckily got better and better after each firmware update. And right now I'm at a point that it rarely happens again. I don't even remember the last time it happened, maybe it was one or two months ago. One mesh on the other hand was a whole different story. Ever since I tried it, the node has never lost its connection to the wireless router. I mean, as long as the router and the node are both powered on and they're within the wireless range of each other, they would find a way to connect to each other. If you have watched the video where I tested my one mesh network, you might remember that I intentionally tried a lot of things to see if they would lose their connection and I was not successful, which is really good and that's how any mesh system should be. Alright, so we talked about the fact that we can use multiple wireless routers in AI mesh, and that is something that we cannot do in one mesh. That means if I use very fast and powerful wireless routers in my AI mesh network, then the mesh network is going to be very fast too, right? I mean, at least on paper. Yes, there might be exceptions here and there because each environment is different and maybe there's interference somewhere and so on and so forth. But hardware wise, the AI mesh system could be a lot faster than the one mesh system, at least for now. A node in AI mesh could be able to handle more client devices compared to a node in one mesh. Because if the node is more powerful and has more LAN ports available, then obviously it can handle more client devices as well. Now, because of that, and also the fact that the ASUS wireless routers use ASUS WRT firmware, which has more features compared to the TP-Link firmware, in my opinion, overall, the AI mesh is a more professional mesh system compared to the One Mesh. One Mesh, on the other hand, is like a budget mesh system to me. It is more affordable, but still gets the job done for many people. If you are a heavy internet user and maybe play online games a lot, uh, stream very high quality videos and have a lot of devices that need to be connected to the internet, then probably you're better off with the AI mesh. But if you're looking for a simple and reliable whole home Wi-Fi system for your everyday internet use, which is not going to cost you a lot, then you're probably better off with the one mesh. Anyways, that was my opinion based on my experience with these two mesh systems and I hope to some extent it was helpful for you. But just keep in mind that they might add or remove some features in the future firmware updates. And because of that, the information in this video might get outdated soon. So if you want to know their latest changes or updates, definitely check out their websites. Hopefully uh, TP-Link will add the option to use multiple wireless routers in one mesh. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.